Oh, thank you, Marco. You're the best at this live stream thing, man. Uh, <laughs> let me close this before. Okay, so first on our agenda is uh, metrics. Uh, I think you're probably the guy, Vitor, to tell us how we're doing, at least on the back end. Okay, yeah, I have it partially because I need like uh, Kai to, uh, wait, like our server has a cool dashboard analysis that we can look, that we can see exactly how, how many people went in at any time. So it's pretty nice. I don't have it right now because I need uh, uh, like, He's the guy in the server. He needs to give him permission. So I access this and share with you guys. But what I have is like in the back end, we kind of like every uh, unique input that you have, we save it. So we know like the number of unique inputs that people put it in. So, and since we have like 3 million, 3 billion options and more, so it's kind of probable that the number of unique inputs is similar to the number of people that got in. And we have like uh, 879 unique inputs. So yeah, probably more people put it on this because like usually when you, first time people just keep the same or change just a little bit so it can be repeated. But uh, as soon as I get this permission to get in there, we can see the analytics that are pretty cool that you can see like exactly how many people got like the peak and the access and stuff. And it might be good for like, if we had the estimation uh, on like first or first or the first two weeks we can see like what is the power required and we can like update like downgrade our server to, to something that is is more reasonable but it, it went fine and yeah that's it and yeah i did uh call uh low test as well but we can talk about this later okay very cool yeah well that's amazing 860 unique visitors and god i'm sure that they put each Many of them played the games multiple times. Uh, and then I guess we celebrate, huh? We did it, guys. Holy crap. Yes. <laughs> Fucking amazing, right? Uh, yeah. 800 people got to learn a little bit about commons, got to have their mind blown about like, wow, wait, so you can design your own economy? Oh, look, yeah, this isn't that hard. I can move sliders, right? Like, mm -hmm. how crazy is that? Oh, sorry, 879 unique inputs. 879. Um, okay, well, let's just, let's do a round of celebration. Like, I don't know, I, like, what I got out of this is like, first off, I just want to say amazing teamwork on this. When you guys were like, no, let's just fucking launch it this week. You know, it's like, oh my God. Who are these guys? <laughs> are these people really developers or what? Like, I don't think so. There's some There's some other flavor of, of DNA in here. Uh, like, amazing, amazing. Uh, I'll pass it to Vitor. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. Pretty happy. Like, I, I wasn't seeing this coming. It was, like, really quick when you saw, like, we had the public release and we were launching it. It was really, really nice. I, I learned a lot and it's been really nice to work with you guys. And I'm happy to see the next steps and what we have to do. And I'm, I'm really happy to the launch. And I think that's it. And I'll pass to Marco. Thanks. Uh, I just recall the early days. Uh, you know, remember when this started uh, and like we were dragging and I, I was, I was back then I was like observer and I was looking at it. And I was like, oh my God, this is going nowhere. Like the narrative and like, you know, months of the narrative never ending and then like last two last couple of weeks we're super blazing fast and i'm super proud that we launched that and i contributed um you know to this project and congratulations to everyone i'll pass it to merlin for you <laughs> oh, okay um Super excited to be here. In fact, um, uh, it was during the F Global Hackathon that uh, someone has, um, I was interested in local money and stuff like that. And someone pinged me and told me, oh, you, you should check that, that. And uh, they are talking about many things and, and it was common stack. So, uh, yeah, during the hackathon, I, I did not have the time to 
uh, dig into that. But after I check it, I like it. And so, yeah, um, I wanted to contribute. And uh, I think Jessica uh, helped me to uh, to onboard me in the project. So really uh, great thank you to Jessica and, and uh, really proud. And uh, thank you everyone to, 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 to have built this amazing project. So really thank you. And it's the first time not the first time, but yeah, uh, I mean, I really enjoy like uh, open source software and the the fact to to build something with uh, uh, strangers and in an open uh, um, in an open manner. And it's yeah, it's crazy what 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 we can build. So really, thank you. And I pass to maybe uh, I don't know Fabio. Sure. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so happy, as I said before. Uh, I remember when I started in the project, like in December, <laughs> and now we did it. Like we had a lot of issues. Uh, each week we created a lot of issues, 10, 20, <laughs> a lot, a lot. And now we did it. So I'm so excited. Yeah, uh, like uh, Marilyn said, I'm really like I really like the the open source community and the Ethereum community, and it's been a pleasure to be here, like launching uh, an application to them. So I'm I'm really excited. I will pass to Lauren. Hey, I'm super excited too, and like it's so wonderful to hear all of your guys' reflections. I, I came into the common simulator, Danny pulled me in one day and was like, oh, Lauren, maybe you can help me write some definitions. And I was like, what even is this? And so I was like coming into it as like a non-dev and just like start, starting to plug in. And it, it's been so great because like the more that I've been here, the more I felt connected with everybody. And I just like, everybody here just like is so amazing. You're just like, I just like, hmm maybe this is an issue and I like create the issue and Marco is like, yeah, this needs to get fixed. And then like Fabio's on it or like Merlin's on, you guys are fixing it. And then I was like, oh, I want to understand why these graphs look this way. And then like Vitor sits down with me for like an hour and we just like have this like long chat talking about all the metrics. And then I'm like, oh, and I got super excited about how everything comes together and then like how I can explain this and like excited, like writing text. And it's been so great to be like part of this family and like, Danny's always there, like answering all of my questions and Griff is always there, just, I don't know, making me feel super welcome. So I've been like super happy to contribute to this project. I feel like I've learned so much from it. Um, yeah, I've just like learned about the comments and like learned about how all of these like parameters like affect each other. And I just like think it's also such an awesome, cool and nerdy dorky tool that we created. And I'm like really grateful to be here. Um, yeah, who wants to go next? I'll pass it to whoever speaks first. <laughs> Danny. Okay, I'll go. I just want to say I finally just now broke 900. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, I did it. <laughs> it's been like my goal all week. You could do it. <laughs> and yeah, just like from a reflection standpoint, I mean, like being asked to write this story and the narrative. Uh, and I'm a super wordy person, so like writing for a comic book is totally like not something that's in my natural bag of tricks. And seeing how like the overall story has now condensed down to just enough to tell what we need to in this first iteration. And then feeling like I was just too close to it because I've been hearing about the commons and the common stack since before it was a thing. And so then building this simulation and telling this story like bringing in Lauren and having her point out things. And I'm like, yeah, that bugged me, but it just didn't occur to me that that could be an issue and we could change it because I'm just so close to it. So being able to step back and share it with new people and see their re reaction and response has been so heartwarming because this is like, this is it. This is what we're doing in like the big picture. And now we actually get to put it into little pictures in a way that explains and teaches a really important concept that the world needs. And I'm so grateful for all of you, every single one of you. Like this is, this is the first, it's like, it's like the first step on the moon, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I, pretty soon we're going to be moonwalking and 
I'm happy to be here with all of you. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I'm practically blinded by all the dopamine and all this happiness. This is like wild, right? <laughs> like, uh, I feel it in my face. Um, so yeah, I guess we're supposed to do other stuff though, right? Um, what else are we doing? Oh yeah, uh, marketing. Okay, so uh, I posted a couple links in the in the uh, Telegram chat, the Twitter, and the. I assume most of you already retweeted the Twitter, but if not, I'll just take a second to retweet the Twitter. Uh, I saw Merlin did a, a quote retweet. Thank you, Merlin. Huge props. Uh, that goes a long way. Uh, and uh, but any single retweet is good. Also, it takes some time, but 50 claps would also uh, go a long way on the medium. So here's a second just to go quick, hold down that, that 50 clap button. Uh, they, <laughs> so we can just take a second to do that. Is there anything else on marketing that we should consider uh, since there's a few of us here? Well, like I said, on the Give With Marketing call right before this, partnerships, partnerships, partnerships. Like, who else cares about this? Um, and can we check in with them and ask them to retweet, retweet it, share it with their communities in whatever ways they can? Okay, yeah. You know what? That's not a bad idea. Maybe let's, let's, let's take a second to jump into some of the social media channels that we are active on. Maybe if everyone just takes, like, one, you know, this 60 seconds after you're done clapping. I know it's a lot of work. Uh, it ain't much, but it's honest work. Um, now, uh, we can uh, go to uh, just find one social media channel and give the Twitter link and the sim dot. Just kind of say, hey, have you guys seen this? It's super cool, you know, just with, and somewhere where you think that they will actually care, right? Not, not like, yeah, not just anywhere. I guess the other thing too is this was funded by Gitcoin, right? And the next grant round is coming and people contributed to this. Yeah. Yeah, we should. Uh, well, I think we gave them an update already, but we should probably give another one, send out another email from there. I, I think that's on me uh, to do that. I, I don't know if anyone else has that power, but that's a good, that's a great call. We should definitely give them that update. And the props, I mean, yeah. This was completely funded by them until we ran out of money and then the comments finished. <laughs> but, uh, pretty much almost, probably 93% funded by Gitcoin. And the common stack is funded by Gitcoin. So we can definitely say it's totally funded by Gitcoin. Also, I had a lot of success with my like, hey, can you beat my high score? And then a screenshot. I think, I feel like that got a lot of engagement. Um, I know, that. that's why I've been trying to get over 900. <laughs> I, I cheated because I know the tricks. I know the tricks. Uh, like, very few hatchers is like an easy win every time. Right, Vitor? What are the other tricks to get high scores? Depends, but usually if you have a, a big uh, exit tribute and maybe your voting time is not, is not that big, it mm -hmm. goes better. Yeah, it's deceptive because you got that 30 and 60 and 90 days on there, which makes people think, oh, maybe I should make it longer. 
So, so short voting times, large exit tributes, and small number of hatchers. Those are, uh, shh, don't tell everyone. Uh, although we might, we might want to fix these, some of these things too. These might be bugs. Hey, Santi. Uh, we're just taking a second to uh, do a little teamwork marketing on this uh, for another push. Uh, but I think we can move on from that. Does anyone need a, a few more seconds? Okay, cool. Uh, let me see what else we have. Okay, marketing. Oh, show off front end work and back end work. Uh, was there much action this week? I understand that there wasn't much much work, but uh, definitely want to leave the space. Uh, maybe I'll let Fabio start and then Merlin. Okay, sure. Yeah, we we haven't done a lot, but yeah, we have uh, some issues. Let me share my screen. Okay, can you see, guys? Okay, yep. so. After the last uh, call, uh, I did a lot of code review and deploy all the things to, to master. So that was my main activity. But beside that, uh, uh, Marco created about three issues and I took two of them. So the first one is this uh, hover uh, on, the, on the inputs of the CAD-CAD. So now here we have a hover and it's this blue color here. And we have the, the same effect in the results page. Wow, nice work on merging the master here. Yeah, so here we have the, the same effect, the hover here. That was the, the first um, issue that Marco made. And the second one is, um, on the entry screen, actually here, skip here. Um, it was not so responsive. We had a lot of um, uh, text here inside the placeholder of the input. So Marcus suggests to change to username in here at the top to Telegram or Discord. So it makes more clear for the user and it's better for the responsivity on mobile. Oh, actually that was the two bugs that Marco report, but uh, Griff report another issue with the, uh, what I can see, like they were refreshing the page. Uh, users uh, can't uh, refresh the page before, but now it's working. I can comment refresh and now it's working. Before it was showing some error like in 404, but now it's working. So that's it. Oh, Merlin? Yeah. Um, so, Marco, you um, raised two issues about um, it was um, about two tips, and I didn't have the time to work on that uh, last week. Because in fact, the library I used uh, was not suited for what we want to do. And so I tried many libraries and one day I think that uh, we should implement our proper tooltip stuff. And, but it was not necessary because I found something uh, that, uh, that work. So now, uh, let me show. Um, sorry, I'm just launching the app, and so, uh, yeah, let me share my screen. In fact, um, there was no, there's an issue on Uber, and I'm really, uh, sorry, did I in the comments, next, next, and now, it's okay. And when we click, it disappears as well. Fabio review. And also I added a tooltip that I think I forget or I don't know. Uh, that was not, uh, it was about voting power. So I added that too. 
Um, and that's it, I think. Uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, and sorry. And I had the call to uh, with, uh, oh, I didn't remember the, his name. Uh, the guy who made uh, the cylinder, but in fact, uh, so we spent uh, like more than one hour uh, trying to uh, set uh, so that we have uh, the, the real zero percent when we are at zero and 50%. And in fact, it's, it seems simple, but it's not. <laughs> so, um, because, uh, yeah, because the elements are really tricky to um, just to um, figure it out uh, all um, the use, the case and the H case. And so it's, uh, we didn't come up with a solution after our, our ac uh, accession. So for now we have one solution. Uh, I think uh, think Fabio uh, sent the link about a library to design cylinder. I don't know. Uh, I I didn't check check that, but maybe it's uh, uh, we 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 can check that. Uh, don't worry yeah. about it. Don't because worry. Uh, it's satisfactory. Yeah. it's satisfactory right now. So uh, I don't think we should waste. I mean, spend that much time on those. Uh, and, and since we are already using something that has been built previously in the front end with, you know, by synthesis guys, it's fine. Uh, now changing the whole thing and, you know, the whole libraries and all that kind of stuff. I don't think it's that's worth the effort. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Get it. Okay. So that's it. And thank you, the guy <laughs> uh, who built the, the, the And uh, name, uh, Marco? Uh, Luca, 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 Luca. Yeah, <laughs> sorry Luca. for him. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I think yeah, he he did some custom hacking around because it's there's nothing like out of the box. I think that we could we. Yeah, could yeah, no, it's uh, like all made stuff, but um, in fact, it's it's quite complicated to have the cylinder in three D and working. Yeah. I, that's I, why that's yeah. why we had these synthesis guys, you know? <laughs> all for all the complicated stuff, you know, they're the best. Yeah, they're really good. Uh, that's it. And um so yeah, uh, I think we've done uh with the front end and maybe maybe I'll pass to Vitro for the back end. Okay, let me show you guys something nice. Vitor okay, always does the... something cool to show. Can you, can you guys see my screen? Yeah. Okay, I'm using Locus. That is a, a tool that basically does a simulation on, uh, on the API. So basically, let me get this. Like uh, in here, you basically configure like uh, a class for user that basically we we simulate uh, user use users uh, hitting on the API or like requesting data. So basically, we can like we could do many different behaviors of users, and then like they could have a probability to do something. But like since our API has only like we just you just input your data in there. There is only one use case. I have like just one one function for this, but basically. We have a, each user like in, uh, uh, requests uh, some data that is like random based on our limits in there. So basically uh, I, in here, like you can see the number of users. So at the beginning, I'm simulating 50 users at the same time. And then they have a behavior that they, they do a request, wait it open, uh, eight, uh, stop. So I imagine that I'm playing there. I do a request, wait it to, to see. And then like the user might spend between one minute and, or two to analyze it and it's random like it, it can wait between uh one minute or two and then it, re it requests again so it's basically uh 50 users running at the same time and then like I, I, they run it wait the, the response see the graphs and then within like one or two minutes they run another round so it keeps running forever I r i'm running this for like from like six or eight minutes and it's nice because in here you can see the request per second so it's it's uh in here you can say let's we have like an average of like 
0.5 means within like two, two minutes to have one request. So we're requesting a lot of uh, things. So, uh, and this is the failures, but those were more because of the way that I made it, not because of the game. So it would not happen. And the nice part is the response time. So basically like in here, we have this response time like for 36 min seconds. And then it goes up because when, when it's way higher is because the server is a little bit uh, busy doing the simulations, but then it got down. And then like our, our roof should be like 120, should be here. But since we are doing a lot of stress tests, it gets a little bit uh, uh, over it. But in the general, it's gonna be, it's uh, lower. So like the median, median uh, response time is good. And like, this is no real case scenario because this is like 50 users running all the time. And it would be great to see the analytics of it, uh, just to check out that uh, what was our, our peak uh, access. I doubt that this is, uh, is going to be more than like these 50 users, like it's not like 50 users one time, it's like they're all the time running it. So it's really nice. You can see that we have like a hundred, like in this like six or seven minutes, we have like 167 uh, inputs. So it's pretty nice. Anyway, so, so Peter, one question. You mentioned the waiting time, uh, 60 seconds or one minute to two minutes. So if I understood correctly, you set that time so that like in that time when users are analyzing the charts, you let others uh, run the simulations or what is what is the waiting time used for? Oh, it's just imagine that if I put one user what will happen is like it requests for the data and it waits to the response. So after they get the results, it takes uh, between one or two minutes to do another run, just that. But then in here, uh -huh. we can see that we, we might have like two or three requests at the same time. So like this wait time is for one user, but since we have 50, like uh, it might vary how, how it happens. So it's kind of, it's, it's, it's kind of a simulation within the simulation. Yeah, yeah, got it. Okay. Uh, very cool, man. This is uh, yeah. this is wild. The yeah, simulation I, inside the simulation. Yeah, it was really useful to set up like what was the limit before because before we upgraded, like uh, 10, 20 users just crashed the server, so it was really nice. And we stopped just because. Yeah. So that's it. And uh, uh, I'm showing this because it took me a while, like last week, for like doing load tests, getting sure that everything is working. And I did not make much work on the mother itself because it was uh, like I just changed the, the score. So I don't have anything specific in there. But one thing that I'm, I'm planning to do this week is that a uh, diag simple diagram showing the, uh, 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 all the mechanisms. And I'm thinking maybe if, I, if it makes sense to make a, a video explaining it. Don't know if it, it still makes sense because maybe for documentation it's good. I could definitely, I, yeah, we definitely want you to do a video mm -hmm. uh, if okay. you can. Uh, I sure, think it's sure. super cool. And we described that last time, I think. Um, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, I just had not time to do this. No, of course, yeah. of course. And thank you so much for upgrading the server. Uh, I, I assume that this week also we will want to downgrade the server. That's yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Maybe maybe right before the next call or something or right after. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I can get the metrics and you, you more, can do a more great assertion of that. Nice. And then Santi, did you have anything you want to show off? Uh, no, I think all the magic was done by Vitor last week. Yeah. <laughs> great job with Vitor. Yeah. <laughs> Vitor's job was to DDoS us last week and he did a great job. Really. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but since um, he helped a lot in the server and stuff. Oh, nice. Ah, well, thank you guys. Then let's uh, dive into. Oh, I wanted to take a second because I think a lot of us probably got some feedback. I know I did. Uh, just to make a couple GitHub issues, I I think that we will have a better time going to the board if we can just take two and a half minutes to. Uh, give space for people to make their little GitHub issues that they want to make. Like Vitor, if you don't have any, like you can make one for making this video, you know, or just any, anything, anything that we need to do. Uh, let's take a couple minutes just to work quietly and make a few issues. 
especially gathering feedback from people. Okay, I got my issues in. Anybody else? Anyone need a few seconds? Okay, we got some thumbs up. Oh, Mark, we need just a second. I'll start sharing screen now. Yeah, I'm still getting mine added in right now, but it's cool. Okay, cool. Well, thank you guys for making these issues. Uh, uh, it's uh, This is where the magic starts. So, oops, I didn't want to show my issue. That's for later. <clears throat> okay, let's start with uh, uh, just going through the board and seeing if there's anything that we want to uh, look at. Uh, Santi, I see a mitigate network edges overhead review. Did you have any action you wanted on that? Or Vitor? You know, I, I haven't this. worked on this, but yeah, I, I would like to try uh, again with more time red cat. So I think it's fine letting there. Okay, so we'll leave it in review. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Great. Uh, we have a few things in progress, although I, I almost think some of these are closed. Create a graphical uh, explanation. 
uh, these are all up and they look great, right? Um, these are Santi again, but I don't know if Santi can hear us. Uh, Vitor, maybe uh, these are in, right? I think yeah. push these. I think. We did. Yeah, I, I, I think we just need to close it. I just yeah. I forgot to close it. Oh, that's cool. I mean, this is just the space in case there's something that we need. It's it's fine, it's, of course. Uh, and then user testing that is happening like mad. Uh, but I think I'll close it. Uh, any objections to that? Danny, is it cool if I close this user testing issue? Yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah. Okay, so sprint backlog. Remy needs to be updated. Um, yeah, those are definitely some, that's some work that can be done, probably lower priority than any, than whatever issues we got from user testing. Um, can I ask Later. about that? Yeah. Because uh, I think I had a comment in there that was just a question because I didn't know where this issue came from. Oh, wait, not that one, the README file. No, not that one. I'm just closing it. Oh, yeah. Because uh, uh, Jeff wrote up all that great information. Isn't that basically what needs to be in a README file? Is there something specific that's needed in there? Yeah. It's more de for developers specifically okay. uh, like, oh, if you want to launch this locally or where is this data, you know, like, just like, uh, okay. oh, hey, hey, nerdy, nerd, nerd. What, what, what do you want to know? Why are you here? <laughs> oh, 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 let's, okay, let's cool. I, I assume, right, right, Fabio Vitor? Yeah, uh, like the instructions to run it are in there. But what I'm thinking is that in the backend, we have uh, a old React app. Do you remember like it was an old front end to testing stuff that isn't there at the moment when I cleaned it up? I'm not sure if we need that anymore. You, well, I, I would say doing one read, view, read through on both of these readme's and just like putting in half an hour to make it a little tip top. I, I have a dream. I have a dream. Okay, that someone will just come in, take our simulations, and actually do a little tweak on CAD CAD and just like optimize to get to a thousand perfect score so they can post it on Twitter. This is to me. That's that's what I want to see as a success. Be like, oh, I don't have to fucking guests because we have CAD CAD like that's so that's uh yeah this is, I, I think the readme might help um, so I like these issues anyway um add more explanation to funding distribution and max spending page I don't remember this I think I think this is related to oh no this is animated intro, some text in the intro is overlapping. Finally, you should explain a step a bit more below, like why is it count? Okay, so actually I have another issue that follows this. Oh, here we go. Uh, Lauren actually made some suggestions. Um, So, okay, and this this is actually related to, uh, I don't want to close it because Lauren made such a uh, good explanation here. Yeah, I, I didn't implement that because Lauren um, called uh, Martin Ben Nunes, I don't know. And uh, so he didn't answer to the question, so. Oh, it's, it's Peter. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Uh, <yeah. laughs> uh, don't we, don't, uh, Lauren, don't we implemented this change? I think we- I thought we, we did. did. Yeah, I, I think so. it was so. already there. Yeah, let me, let me check. It was about by explaining that 50% was like relative to the amount within one day, right? Yeah, I think it changed. Okay, cool. 
Uh, I'm going to close the issue and reopen it if you tell me different, Vitor. Okay. And Fabio, you fixed the refresh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Marco, I sent you this. Um, I just need a picture um, for the POAPs. And we were talking about that on an individual basis. Any blockers there, Marco? Can you hear me, guys? Barely, but yes. No. It's much better now. Okay, so just what kind of picture? Is it just, I don't know, a, a logo or, I mean, it's gonna be a badge. But what do you want there? Just to, to, to say something like common simulator or? Yeah. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I think the main thing is following. Like, I could have just taken a, a cool screenshot out of the common simulator and put it there. Um, but it was this round shape, size less than 200K and 500, 500. I couldn't. Like, I don't know how to make something. Yeah, it's not a problem. I just, I just want to make sure that. Do we want to show some text or label on that badge or some, nothing? Okay, okay. I think it's okay. just something, it just gotta, it just has to look cool. Whatever looks cool. Um, and that I, I know you okay. can do. All right, cool. But much better than I can. Uh, let's see. So cool. Okay, that's the sprint backlog. Uh, I'm going to sprint. Uh, I don't see. I want to skip. Oh, you know what? This might be the same. I think I'm going to skip the product backlog and go to these new issues. Uh, we're waiting for loading a bit more interesting. This is yours, Marco. Is this yeah. something that we want to put in this uh, in this print? Um. I don't know. Don't close it. No, no, no. <laughs> don't close it. I won't it. close it, but if you don't know, I'll just take it out of the fast follow-up. Okay. Sorry, yeah, I get a little high off of closing. I'm a little addicted to the <laughs> So it's fair. No, I know. It's, it's the pleasure of closing, but don't <laughs> close it. A little <laughs> hit. A little hit. Uh, make, make final game score more clear. What does it mean? How can the user improve? Wow. This yeah, I great. made this issue. I wrote a lot about it because I was just thinking about like, uh, when I was talking to Vitor, I was like learning about how we have cool penalties. Like, I mean, if your sentiment drops below a certain value at any point, you like get docked 50 points. And we didn't really have a place where this is actually explained to anybody. And I was thinking it might be kind of awesome to explain a little bit more like how the number value is calculated, but I know there's like a lot of things that go into it. So I just put some ideas. I don't know. It's sort of like a big issue because there's so many things that come together. Well, yeah, let, let's, keep, let, let's keep this issue open for now. Uh, I, I'll take a look into that. But, but my first thought was, I guess, you know, we will probably provide user link to deep dive into that stuff on a blog post or whatever. Um, and they will read about it. I'm not sure that the results pages are, you know, is exactly the place where they will spend an hour, another hour thinking about <laughs> the, those results, right? So maybe just a link to more resources, but don't close it for now. Keep it open. I'm, I'm going to look into that. Yeah, and I'd be happy to contribute some time to like working on a blog post, but just keep me in the loop. Yeah, I, I, I think that might be a great way to go. Cause you know, I love Jeff's blog post, but it was really written from the common stacks, like block science, why are we doing this perspective? It wasn't really a blog post about the simulator. You know, uh, it was, I mean, it was, of course, it's the why, which is really important, but it, it doesn't do the, the how. 
You know, yeah. Like maybe the how might be interesting to people. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think, like, Lauren, if you're up to that, uh, it would be awesome to, to write something, like, for dummies, you know? Like, if you do that, this happens, and if you do that, that happens, and, you know, stuff like that, like, you know. Yeah, I, I can and totally also, get started on that. I'm sure I'm going to ask a lot of questions, though, because I don't yeah, know, I know all the, if you do that, then this. <laughs> Yeah, and also like, you know, you put those uh, explanations in the tooltips. So basically that's like a glossary we already have. So we can include that glossary inside the blog post right away. So people get educated, like what is the funding pool? What are the hatchers? You know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's It could be a really good blog post. Yeah, I'd love to do that. Oh, well, that's exciting. Uh, well, I put it in product backlog, but that doesn't mean you can't attack it. Um, and I, it, I didn't label it fast follow. This one, it seems like, uh, Merlin, we can close it. yeah, we can close it. Right. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you for investigating Merlin. <laughs> in shot. Glad we can end early on that. Uh, random graphic on last page should be behind all the content. Not. In yeah. Front. I, I have a question about that, but maybe you can explain me because yeah, go ahead, please. Well, it just kind of like, it's just kind of a weird, it feels like a bug when I look at it on the phone. Yeah. This little like, like needle wire. Yeah, but so, it's behind. In fact, yeah. it's really behind the, the button and all uh, all the graph and stuff like that. So It's, it's so in the background that's why, and it's fixed, yeah. I think. So either you can, um, you can either like push it down so it's fixed at the bottom or you can just on the results page, you can just remove it so that the graphs are more like Okay. Yeah. Because I, I, I didn't really understand them. Yeah. Well, I, I shouldn't have been so prescriptive in my title. Like I thought it would be in front of things, but I don't know what I'm talking about. So, uh, no problem. But, but yeah, the real, the real problem is like, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 it's weird. No, no, it's, it's I, I, I've noticed the same thing. Yeah, just, just remove it, or if you can just uh, maybe uh, float it, or how do you, I don't know, maybe put it in, at the bottom or something. You know, see how you can fix it. But if, if but no fixes, if we just put, remove. It. If we put that at the bottom, I don't know. I don't see the. It's used less than, I mean. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's no worries, no worries. Okay. Cool, but if you know, if you think it's if you think it's better to, you know, we trust you, Merlin. If you think it's better to remove it, that's also cool. You know, uh, um, I'll check and see. Yeah, I mean, if you play with it and think about it for five minutes, mm -hmm. it's more than anybody else has. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. Thank you for taking that on. Um, it says share your score, but you don't share your score. Can we add this? Oh yeah, I made this tweet. I made this twice. Um. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, I, so I created is... a similar issue right now during this call. So I think uh, that there is another one. Yeah, so I'm gonna close this one. Cause I think- And I didn't one. make it, but I saw that and wondered about it. <laughs> Let's see, good, bad, future. Yeah, uh, this one. No, no, not that one. It's oh. just, yeah, I created that one as well, but no. <laughs> uh, oh man. Share, yeah, this one, share results on social media. Include screenshot of the score. So instead of me taking the screenshot and pasting that in the tweet, if we can just screenshot, screen grab in the background and include that in the uh, post, Twitter post. I'm going to close mine. I think mine's better. I'm sorry, Marco. Or, yeah, no worries. <laughs> uh, you have you have some good. You have a nice screenshot, but I I made uh, I made tweets. I linked to tweets. Like yeah, you did. I mean, yeah, like. So yeah, here's the, the tweets. 
And I don't know how to do this. I, I don't know if this is super complicated to make a screenshot pop up in in the tweet uh, and with a link and then make it so that the screenshot is there and not the link, you know, like I, I don't know how hard that is. Does anyone have any idea? I don't think I don't think that should be hard that much. It's done like in the back end, basically. The, in the in the back end, we take a screenshot. You know, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. You're better than uh, than I am in the, that kind of stuff. But that's how we did it previously on other projects. Basically, you just um, I think it's a open graph or something that yeah that takes yeah. Am I correct? Just in thinking if the Twitter API like supports the an image. If they support, then okay, it will be easy. If they not support, then it will be impossible. I think. But yeah, mm -hmm. I can take this one. Okay. Yeah, just uh, here's the tweets. Here's one guy, man, my computer is just dragging. Look at that. Come on, friends. Here's, uh, I'll just show this other one then because it's taking so long to load. But I just want to show the mistake. Someone actually was like, oh, hey, yeah, you know, I didn't beat Griff, but this is good enough. And they just expected that the screenshot would be there. Yeah, I saw that too. Yeah. Not too shabby. Fun to learn through simulation. And then, no, we don't know what his score was. So keeping us in suspense. Why, kitty cat? Why are you stare at me? <laughs> Okay, anyway, let's keep going. Oh man, we're almost, oh shit, I wasn't watching the time. Oh. I'm so sorry, guys. 11, yeah. Uh, okay, hold on. Let's sign this to Fabio. Mm -hmm. um, anyone who create, else create an issue that they think is really critical? So uh, the one that I just, that I put in around tightening up the screen sizing to reduce scrolling like, I feel like it almost doubled the number of times I need to touch it when I'm whipping through that I, there's just like a little teeny scroll I need to do on certain pages. And I've tested it on different size monitors and screens. It's never quite fitting to the full page. It's, I feel like there's something we could do just to get it to where I don't need that little bit of scroll to hit the next button on many of these pages. Cool. Well, Fabio Merlin, who wants it? I think it's a, I think it's a front end. Uh oh, everyone's uh, overloaded. Yeah. <laughs> no, but, uh, I'm not sure um, if I get it. In fact, uh, it's about uh, I think it's scrolling about on, on uh, vertical scrolling. I think it's about making the screen size sh shorter. Just like, or, um, yeah, there's something in when you size it to a screen. So, because because I have one really big monitor laptop and I have one little laptop, it doesn't matter which one I'm on. I still have to scroll a little bit to get to the next button, even when it's just one page. So oh, I should see the uh, whole when page you click, when you click next or stuff like that. Yeah. 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 It, so that's it, why. It, there's two images for each page when you look in here. Like I, I, I get to the page, I can read it, and then I have to scroll a little bit to get to that last part to get the next button. Yeah, I shouldn't have but, to do that. But uh, yeah, maybe we can reduce some part, but it, it shouldn't uh, seem like it's too compact. And uh, when there are many images, what what can we do because we cannot remove the images so i don't know yeah i i think there's room to either make like the image a little bit smaller or move that header up a little bit like even that bar along the left side that could come up a little bit so you don't I think, have to I, scroll I think down the, the header uh bring a little bit up yeah the, the header is yeah we can we can try some stuff and just see. Uh, it's what, it's what, minor what, tweaks. That's why yeah. I didn't say it before. But what, what's it your might take a lot of work. small screen? What's your small uh, the, the size of your 
So my smallest one is a 13 and my bigger one is a 17. Yeah, okay. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, it seems like the next button could be high, uh, as high as run CAD CAD if possible, right? Like that would, that yeah. would probably solve it. Yeah, okay. We, okay. we uh, can try it, it, all Fabio, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, the main I mean, thing I notice is it, redu it it really increases the number of times I have to touch it uh, in <laughs> order to run through it. So, like, this okay, would okay. reduce clicks. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Get it. Uh, any other issues that someone wants to talk about really quick? Uh, I'm really sorry I failed, guys. Um, I, I'm really sorry I failed you and wasn't keeping track of time and keeping us on time. There are some more issues in the new issue column, and I'm just gonna let you, Fabio, Merlin, and Vitor, if you guys wanna go in there and look at them and take the agency. Um, well, I, I can, later tonight, I can, try, I can try to make sure that I can put them in fast follow or not. Or maybe Marco, do you wanna take that on? Probably better, <laughs> honestly. I can't be reliable. What, the issues? Yeah, I, we just ran out of time, I and I don't wanna keep, I don't wanna stay, make people stay late. Yeah, I think uh, Vitor and Fabio can prioritize that. Okay. So okay. I, I'd leave it to them. Okay, that sounds great. Thank you guys. I'm so sorry for being late. And congratulations. <laughs> we did it. Uh, now we just have to clean it up. So thank you all. Okay. Thanks, all right. everybody. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.